Now the larger question, which is funding education, and uh, uh, none of us have a printing press, and we understand the challenges that our state has. I'll just make four quick comments. If we're going to solve this problem, we have to diagnose what the problem is first. And the diagnosis is pretty clear. The reason we have an educational funding is because we have 300,000 people, uh, a funding gap, we have 300,000 people out of work. And that's why I, I have focused my candidacy on getting people back to work. That is the way, ultimately, that we're going to restore the fiscal integrity to the state. Now, there's three other things we need to do. One, adopt a preventative health care program. And I'm a candidate for race who's been working on this for years. And I've seen the success of preventative health care in a way to bring accountable care organizations where we can have a system in our state that can prevent you from getting diabetes instead of amputating your leg after you do. And when actually you're saving 18%, King County, they've saved $61 million in the last couple of years. I am the candidate in the race who has actually embraced and worked for those kind of reforms. Second, we need to adopt lean management systems. I am sold on what Boeing has done in lean management. I'm sold on what Virginia Mason has done in lean management, becoming the number one hospital in the country. And there is no reason on this green earth why we should not adopt lean management systems to bring efficiencies to our state government. And I'm going to be a governor to insist that happen. Now, third, there's a couple of you know, corporate loopholes that are in non-innovative industries that need to be reviewed. And I think that makes sense to do that. If we do these things, we're going to help. But let's not wait for money. Let's do reform right now. 